In this video, we'll demonstrate how Carelink Express Mobile is used to interrogate patients with Medtronic implanted cardiac and monitoring devices. Carelink Express Mobile allows clinicians to interrogate devices in a variety of healthcare settings, such as critical care, inpatient, radiation therapy, cath lab, surgery center, and the cardiology clinic. Carelink Express Mobile is also used for routine device checks and pre-discharge evaluations. A device expert is notified of the transmission and reviews the data remotely on the Carelink Express website. With Carelink Express Mobile, you can interrogate Medtronic implanted devices whenever needed. This includes any department within the hospital as well as clinics in different locations. The Carelink Express mobile system consists of a patient connector and cords for charging. The system operates using a free downloadable app and a mobile tablet. A description of the Carelink Express mobile system can be found at medtronic.com forward slash CL Express mobile. Your Medtronic representative will set up an account profile for your Carelink Express mobile system. This profile will include a security code that is connected to the serial number on the patient connector, and a location ID number. The serial number and the security code are located on the back of the patient connector. Enter your Express Location ID. The Location ID can be found on your Carelink Express website or by contacting your local Medtronic representative. Once the profile is configured, your Medtronic representative can work with your IT department to make sure the mobile tablet is connected via Wi-Fi and that the app is downloaded. The free app is only available on the iTunes Apple App Store. Once it's downloaded, the app resides on the desktop of the mobile tablet being used for device checks using Carelink Express Mobile. Now, it's all set to go. Once you open the app, all you need to do is follow the step-by-step -step animations on the app to complete a device check. Start the app and click the button on the patient connector. The app will need to be paired with a patient connector. This can be done by your Medtronic representative during the initial setup. Confirm the serial number of the patient connector each time it's opened. The patient connector is placed over the patient's cardiac or ICM device as shown in this animation. A green light will appear on the patient connector indicating a connection has been made with the patient's device. While holding the patient connector over the patient's device, the app will display a green progress bar that lets you know the connector is positioned correctly and receiving data from the patient's device. A new screen will appear on the app indicating the device data is being sent over a secure network for review. Once all of the data has been sent, a green check mark will appear indicating the data was successfully sent. That's all there is to it. The app automatically transmits the data from the implanted device to the Medtronic Carelink Express website and the Carelink network. The device expert will receive an email notification that a Carelink Express transmission is available. The interrogation report can be sent via fax or secure email. The data can be viewed on the Carelink Express website for seven days. For patients enrolled in remote monitoring, the data will be permanently saved in their Carelink records. After the device interrogation is completed, the data is transmitted through the Carelink Express mobile app to both the Carelink Express website and the Carelink network. The transmission data can also be accessed by clicking on the link in the email notification. This will take you to the Carelink Express login page. This is the interface of the Carelink Express portal, 
showing device type and serial number, date and time of the report, event summary, transmission location, and report status. The reports are generated automatically and are viewed by opening the PDF. If the patient is not enrolled in CareLink, the name will not be shown on the CareLink Express website interface and can be viewed within this report. For legacy devices, such as Adapta, the data can be viewed in the PDF. By clicking on the report date, the device data can be viewed. The reviewer can navigate the report by selecting a tab. The Quick Look report shows current EGM, episodes, cardiac compass, and more reports. After reviewing the transmission data, the reviewer can add notes to the file to list the reason for transmission, briefly describe the findings, and submit the report. The report will be available on the CareLink Express website for seven days and will need to be saved in the patient's electronic medical record or printed. For CareLink enrolled patients, the report will be added to their permanent record. The reviewer can access the standard Quick Look report or create a custom report. The custom report allows the reviewer to choose the data and episodes to include in this report. The custom report is generated and can be accessed by clicking on the report pending link. The app will alert you if there is an error. The most common errors you might encounter are error code 3269. Three possible scenarios with this code include patient connector out of range, to correct this error, ensure the patient connector is turned on. Bring the mobile tablet closer to the connector and resume the connection within 30 to 40 seconds to continue the current interrogation or press cancel to restart the device interrogation. Error 3269 could also mean an interruption of the Bluetooth connection and all retry attempts of re-establishing connection have been exhausted. If this happens, ensure the patient connector is turned on. Press cancel and restart the device interrogation. If you see this screen, it means a temporary interruption of the telemetry connection. In this case, you'll need to reposition the patient connector over the patient's device within two minutes to resume the connection or press cancel to restart the device interrogation. Unable to get telemetry. The SmartSync app or the Link Mobile Manager app is launched instead of the CareLink Express mobile app. Close the SmartSync or Link Mobile Manager app completely and open the CareLink Express mobile app to begin interrogation. Error 8786, Registered Clinic Location ID Lookup Failed. The location ID could not be found or matched. Tap Cancel and verify that the location ID is configured correctly. Contact your CareLink network administrator for more help. Error 3517, inductive telemetry no response. There is no communication to the implanted device. Relocate the patient connector to move closer to the implanted device. Error 3314, app interruption trigger. When the app is interrupted by a host device function, for example, navigating away from the app or accepting a phone call, Press Cancel and restart the device interrogation. Any data collected as part of the interrupted interrogation are lost. Errors 5704 and 5409, cellular or Wi-Fi unavailable. When the tablet does not have a functional network connection prior to downloading data from the device, press Cancel to navigate to Home screen or Welcome screen if in the setup workflow. 7252 HTTP Bad Gateway. The server returned code HTTP 502 and is not able to communicate to Medtronic CareLink. Contact your CareLink network administrator for more help. Low battery error code 3248. This means the patient connector has less than 5% battery left. If this happens, press cancel plug the connector into a power outlet, and retry the device interrogation.
You will find more information on the setup and use of CareLink Express Mobile on the Medtronic website. The CareLink Express Mobile Instructional Guide is available online at manuals.medtronic.com. For further information, contact your local Medtronic representative.